Welcome, glorious people of the interwebs, to another Monster Hunter Fight Club battle. Today we've got Spicy Pickles taking on the infamous Deadly Flap Flap, Basil Dick. It's gonna prove to be a great fight, and many people out there have wondered which monster would actually defeat each other in a battle. Well, today we're gonna find out who's the biggest dick in Monster Hunter World, Devil Joe or basil geese i hope you all enjoy this fight now keep in mind i can't prevent the monsters from occasionally attacking me so it is going to be solely up to their ai and hoping that they continuously fight each other which they do now devil joe does hit quite a bit harder than basil goose but the Flap Flap does have an advantage. He can fly and drop bombs and deal tons of blast damage with his dangly balls of death, which is a huge advantage because not only is he dealing damage pretty much all the time on the ground, he's also able to fly in the air and deal damage that way. So it's a pretty good fight and it's actually very, very close. Now, I do actually have a mod that shows me the health percentages, so I am able to see that during the fight. If you guys want me to include health bars in the future, let me know. But like any boxing match or UFC match, you don't know their health, and they could go down at any time. So that's the way I'm going to leave it for now, but let me know what you think in the future. But let's see what happens. Oh! Devil Joe is coming in with the fire... Dragon Breath of Death. There we go, not fire. And stomping on Basil Goose. That's the way to do it, man. If he keeps doing that, Basil Goose is going down. Oh! He's doing a little charge of his own. Unfortunately, that charge does not do a lot of damage to Devil Joe. So he's going to have to come up with some better tactics. Maybe start getting airborne. Use what his mama gave him? The wings? Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. Do Basil Geese's have moms? I don't know. Who really knows? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So we didn't fully take in the air. That is going to be the determining factor. Is Basil Dick going to fly or is he not? If he doesn't, it's going to come down to Devil Joe just stomping the bejesus out of him. But those blasts do a lot of damage. And... Oh, there it is. I was just about to say Devil Joe does get exhausted very easily where Basil Goose does not. All right, so Basil Goose did not take advantage of the momentary exhaustion of Devil Joe. But he's still... Oh, look at that blast damage. That does a lot of damage. And he's down again. Oh, but Basil Geese is getting distracted. He sees a shiny hunter and wants to murder. Oh, this. This is what we've been waiting for. Basil Goose's ultimate attack. Just devastating Devil Joe. That actually took away quite a bit of health. It is still a very, very close fight. We still haven't even seen Devil Joe do his ultimate attack. Oh, okay. Getting a little frisky there. Taking a shot at the butt. And again. Devil Joe jumping away from the blasty balls of death. Very good. Oh, but Basil Goose with another dive bomb. If Basil Goose keeps to... Oh, look at that. Knockdown. Just wrecking Basil Goose's day and then slapping him in the face with his tail. Oh, I thought we were going to see the Devil Joe's ultimate attack there. We're going to see it here soon. And it does almost 20% health if he lands one. It is particularly devastating. I honestly think Basil Geese might be the only monster that could take on Tempered Devil Joe. Because this is very close. But it's going to come down to Basil Geese needing to fly. I don't know if another monster that doesn't fly could survive against Devil Joe. Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see Devil Joe take on the Elders, I think it would be a lot of fun. Ooh. Oh. That was almost it. He almost landed his super duper dive attack. 
Oh, Basil Geese with the splody splode stomp of death. Devil Joe is reeling. It looks like that stomp may have momentarily exhausted. Ba oh, never mind. Oh, he's doing it again. Double stomp of death. Devil Joe tries to go in for his face slam, but misses. This is uh, this is not looking good for Devil Joe at the moment. He just keeps running straight into those explosions. A, a glutton for punishment. Oh, man. Ran into another blast there. Let's see if Devil Joe can finally get a knockdown. Basil Geese is using what Mama gave him. He's got it. Oh. Oh, Devil Joe. Oh, didn't knock him out of the sky. Entering B-52 mode and just devastating Devil Joe again. Man. Right now, Basil Geese does look to be ahead. Uh-oh. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong now. Can Devil Joe stomp him to death? <gasps> Here we go. Oh, 20% HP in one hit. The field has been leveled, ladies and gentlemen. I'm surprised Devil Joe didn't take advantage of the... Oh, gee, now he's trying to get me. All right, let's see if we can squirrel our way out of here. It is a close... This is the closest fight I've done so far for this. What's he... Oh, no, he's coming for me. Okay. Basically, what needs to happen is Devil Joe needs to take advantage of any exhaustion and knockdown of Basil Goose and do that big face slam into the ground because that will end this fight very quickly. Basil Geese just running amok over there. Those charges do not do a lot of damage. It's about 1% per hit. It's a very weak hit, surprisingly, but it does leave all those dangly balls of death everywhere, which Devil Joe really needs to pay attention to. Oh, there we go again. Oh, looks like Devil Joe got some smarts and backed out of that blast radius that time. Man, he just wants he just wants to eat my booty like groceries. He really needs to fake his focus on the bagel. It seems Bagel has more of an AI to attack monsters than players, whereas Devil Joe likes to attack players just a little bit. Oh! There we go. It is on like Donkey Kong. Is he going to do it? He's not doing it. He's just eating that booty right now. Swiggity swooty. Oh! Oh, that was beautiful. Basil Geese is hurting. Devil Joe's getting distracted once again. And Basil Dick doesn't have any dangly balls of death. He might be in trouble. He's crying out for his mom to help him. What a sad day. Now those gap closers, both Devil Joe's jump and Basil Geese's charge like that don't do a lot of damage to each other. I'm surprised. It does a lot of damage to hunters, but not so much to monsters, which is particularly interesting. You think the damage would scale equally, but it does not. Oh, Basil Geese catching Devil Joe in a bit of an exhausted state. And Devil Joe striking back. Here comes the dangly balls of death. Oh, right in the taint. Devil Joe looking particularly pissed about getting his ass exploded. Telling Basil Geese he's got to take him out to dinner before doing anything like that. Oh, here comes B-52 mode. Devil Joe better watch out. What is Basil Goose doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was a good hit. Oh, he's doing it again. Basil Goose is getting serious now. Ladies and gentlemen, Devil Joe may very well be in trouble. Oh, the relentless onslaught of the Flap Flap himself. Oh, he's dropping them balls. All right, Devil Joe has decided to retreat. It's a smart... Oh, got him with the tail. That hitbox on the hip check challenge. Oh, did we get a knockout? That almost did the full damage. Didn't quite hit him. Uh-oh. 
Here we go. Is Devil Joe going to get another slam? Nope. Just decided to eat that booty like groceries. Getting some revenge. Oh, there we go. Not quite the full damage either, but this has gone back to a very, very close fight. Those head slams of Devil Joe's does a lot of damage. We've got another turf war, ladies and gentlemen. This is coming down to the wire now. Both of these take about the same percentage of damage during a turf war. So this is going to make this fight pretty quick after this. Basil Geese with the advantage, but using it against me, you stupid flat flap. Ooh, got him with the fire breath that time. I don't know why I keep calling it fire breath. It is clearly not fire, but regardless, Devil Joe seems intent on spamming the bejesus out of it. That's right, you better pay attention to the flap flap, man. Basil Goose with the miss. Oh, there we go. Got a nice stomp on him. Devil Joe really needs to stop getting caught up in the fiery balls of death. Let me just tell you, it is a very, very close fight. It's going to come down to whoever can get the advantage first. We got a couple more explosions on Devil Joe. Basil Geese has entered lawnmower mode, but got stunned. Nice. Oh. Oh, this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Is Devil Joe going to take advantage? No, he is exhausted. Missed his opportunity to take out the flap flap of death. He may not live to regret this with the onslaught of Basil Goose. The downside is Devil Joe is intent on just attacking everything, whereas Basil Geese is pretty much solely intent on murdering the bejesus out of Devil Joe. It's probably because he didn't like being whipped around by his dangly balls. I wouldn't either. Gotta protect the family jewels. Looks like they both might be a little exhausted. Oh, good hit, Devil Joe. It is still a very close battle, but if Devil... Oh! He just missed. That would have been almost the finisher had he landed it directly on Basil Goose's head. Unfortunately, Devil Joe clearly doesn't have any aim. What's going on here? Oh, good stun, Devil Joe. Is he going to continue to stay in the air? He's dropping the deadly balls of death. Oh! All right. That would have been devastating had it hit Devil Joe, but occasionally the monsters are going to fight me. And now, for those of you wondering why I'm not using the Gilly Mantle, it does not work. The monsters will stop fighting if I use that, so I am having... Oh! All right. Devil Joe's looking a little rough now. Can he get back into the air? Uh-oh. Devil Joe's got his onslaught. Getting caught up in the explosions again. Stunning Bagel Goose. You guys don't know how close this is. This is one of the fairest fights I have done so far, believe it or not. Oh, Devil Joe actually stunned Bagel with a roar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! That was huge! Down goes Devil Joe! Ladies and gentlemen, it is over, and Bagel Goose is continuing his onslaught. What a beast! Congratulations to Bagel Goose for taking down Spicy Pickles. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you thought in the comments below as well as let me know which monsters in Monster Hunter World you would love to see duke it out in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.